Hello, everyone. This is the Doom Tomb Podcast, the podcast for all things stoner, doom, and sludge. My name is Chris. I am your host. Today, we're going to do a little something different. It's called the Top Five. Hmm. The Top Five. The Top Five what? I don't know. I'll never have an idea. I won't know until the microphones go on. And that's exactly how I like it. I want to be surprised. I want to see what's on people's minds. So I'm going to take a band member every now and again and ask them for their top five. I think we should kick it off right now with John Quinn, who has played in Secrets of Lost Empires and is currently playing in Mosara. Here is John's top five. Five. We've got another installment of the top five. I've got yes. a guy here that is it well, you know. Last night they played in a band, Secrets of Lost Empires. He is a phenomenal drummer. Mm. He's been in several other projects over the years. Mm. He is currently Good killing stuff. it with the band Mosara. Mm-hmm. This is John Quinn. John Quinn, the question is, what is your top five? You top are five. talking about the top five blank. Go ahead. My top five at the moment has to be my playlist of bands I've been listening to. Okay. Um, we're going to start off with a uh, Gate Creeper. Gate Creeper. Local and you're boys. The, the sweatshirt. I'm wearing the sweatshirt right now. Local Boys. Uh, very well done. Awesome produced album. Um, they got a very uh, strong following that's uh, kind of paving the way for their second album right now. They got the Decibel Tour coming up. Right. So I'm looking forward to a lot that's going on with those guys. What about Gate Creeper catches you? Like, what ignites um, your fire on them? Good question. Uh, their honesty, um, as a live musician and somebody that avidly attends shows, um, watching them live, there's absolute truth in each one of those performers. Absolutely, every one of them. And, and you know what's uh, crazy? It's you so see Chase satisfying. up front. Yes, Chase. Yeah. Uh, you Great see bummer. him up front. He's. I swear to God, he is a mm. different human being yeah. than when he plays in Spirit Adrift. Oh, absolutely. Another. It's another animal, He's and it brings chameleon. something out of him. Yeah, the chameleon. So, and the Gay Creeper is like it's just a very honest band, and uh, I just appreciate what they do. Okay, a fan and a, and a uh, follower. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. What is the next part of your top uh, five? My next band is going to be a band called Trevor Something. I'm not familiar. Yeah, Trevor Fill Something is a post eighty synth pop. Um, look him up. He's got a lot of music that reflects on eighties, like movies, soundtrack. Is the lyrics involved that, that go lyrics. back to that? And lyrics, and lyrics are very re- much relevant to what's going on and uh, a lot of stuff that we grew up with. Okay. Uh, a generation of 30, so are they, 40 are, plus. Like, but, are they talking like um, Pac-Man fever or what are they? Um, it's just talking about like uh, one song that comes up is Trevor Something's Summer of Love. Great song. And it's all about those 80s movies that were all about like summer love and like you meet the girl and you got to win her over. Sure, sure. That, yes. Inter- oh, please. Really quick. Yes. It's... I listen to it. I love it. It's great. It so it good. what it does is it scratches the itch that I think everybody has for something catchy, right? You know? But it's done in a really cool way. Like yeah. it's it's got the intent and the atmosphere of something that's just well, yeah. t- just co- it's just cool. Like you yeah. feel you yeah. feel you don't feel weird listening to it. Like you're listening to pop music. Like ah, I'm sure. listening to like radio shit. It's got it's, some heart. Yeah, it's catchy, yeah. but it's but it's got that. Authentic thing to it. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, exactly. Hit the hit the nail on the head. Um, okay. It's just something very thematic and throwback. Yeah. Very throwback about it. Interesting. And that's the hook right there is how how hard it hits you with a throwback. Musically, it's so good. yeah. Musically, does it sound like anything else that you can um, put your finger on? Yeah. Gunship. Uh, Gunship is an amazing band. Look them up. Right. Um, Mr. Kitty, Perturbator, Kavinsky, if you're a fan of the Drive soundtrack, a lot of good stuff in there. Like Fair enough. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. What's your third? Uh, third is going to be Sunny Day Real Estate. That's a throwback to back in the 90s. Yes. Those that know those guys. Um, <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, uh, grunge or not grunge? Not grunge. <laughs> not grunge. Not grunge. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> they, they originally considered that. Here, bring, bring it to- that was the emo. I was going to say, that was emo before Hot Topic. That was nice. Before emo became, before something, emo became weird. something weird, <laughs> there was a band called Sunny Day Real Estate. And, um, now, what Jeremy moves Eden? you? What moves you about them? The guitar playing, the contrast between hearing really aggressive music over beautiful, delicate, sensitive, soft vocals. Right. I hadn't heard something like that except Tool had done that. Yeah, yeah. Now, they did that really early in the 90s, and that was what captured me. It was like these really heavy riffs, heavy drums, and Maynard singing in a falsetto over a riff that's just crushing you. Right. And you're like, I've never had this contrast, you know? And Sunny Day Real Estate was one of those bands that did that. Like, Jeremy right. Enoch, the singer, he does stuff now, and it's like really uh, intimate, singer songwriter type stuff. Sure, sure. So, if you're lucky to catch his stuff, do it. Um, All right, I'm going to have to check them out because, I mean, uh, quite honestly, yeah. I can't lie. Yeah. The name. Yeah. It caught me, and I was like, How we met? Yeah. No, we all right. met at a Sunny Day Real Estate show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, real, no shit. Yeah. Okay, by the way, started. Josh. Uh, for Secrets of Lost Empires yeah, is also too. hanging out with us. So I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to like. I, abs- I absent-mindedly like interjected, like it was a you know just having a conversation. I completely forgot. It's all right. No worries, dude. Oh man, it's like it's gonna cost you a nickel. We're all we're all a part of the scene. Don't forget. Uh, you got something in there. Is it, is it, well, I know uh, so, Josh yeah, was looking in his show. pocket. I don't we know. Do you show. have tots in there too? Or? <laughs> I'm all out of food. Oh, the secret sauce. I'm all out of food. <laughs> All right, um, so but yeah, that was Sunday a band. Real Estate. Yeah, Sunday Real Estate. Look at them up. Good stuff. You've got some intimacy, some uh, very, very much. Okay, yeah, fair yeah, enough. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'm gonna put. I mean, I'll put all this in the show notes, obviously, but I, I will check it out. How? All right, here's a question before yes. you go on to the next. Sure. How do you? And this might be a weird thing, but like, how do you I like suggest I, I listen to it? Like, give me start start at Diary. Okay. Start at Diary and then go to album two. LP two, I just go from there. Like, is this um, is this a me driving to work album? Is this a me like uh, coming home from work album? Throw this on when you have time to sit and listen, and then get busy later. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Start off your afternoon with it. All right, Taryn. Just have it going while you do a lot of shit around your house. Right. Start off sitting off, having your French roast. Oh, nice French roast. Would you mind? If, would you mind yeah. possibly if I did a cold brew? Cold brew even better. I like a cold brew. The acid bothers me. It'll hit you better. It bothers me. And uh, start the album. You'll finish up your cold brew, have your cigar, your smoke, whatever you're going to do. Ah, yes, yes, And then um, by the time Circles is done, the second song, the third song will start. I think it's Stairs. Um, It starts taking off right about then. Fair. And then by then, the caffeine will be kicking in. And then before you know it, your whole house is clean and you cried. Oh, that's nice. I'm... (laughs) I think I think I might you know I I'll do a cold brew but I'm still gonna put like a and little. And you're gonna uh, have so much caffeine running through your veins and emo that it's gonna the to- topic's gonna want to tap you for a color oh, scheme. Is that it? You know, do, do, okay. So if I listen to this, am I gonna be like, is this an encouragement to go to Hot Topic and buy like a? I know I was later in life. Were you? Okay. But immediately it might not hit you like that. Okay, fair enough. But for me. The 912th time I've listened to the album, right, had to go buy, uh, buy black and white striped socks. Hmm. Okay, I had okay. to. I, I hope you don't mind, but in the cold brew, I'm gonna probably put like a French vanilla. <laughs> like I, I do need a little something sweet. I don't. I don't drink it black. I I, I put a generous amount of hazelnut in mine. So hazelnut. I I, you know what else? Like this sweet. Was it sweet cream? <laughs> Italian sweet cream. That's delicious. By the way, it's good too. Check it out. Okay, next. Number four? Yes. Uh, my number four right now is Deftones. Deftones, all right. Now, Deftones kind of is an umbrella because it's Chino Moreno. Yeah. So, it's Chino Moreno, which is the lead singer of Deftones. He's kind of in the umbrella, and he's got Deftones, and he has Team Sleep. Yep. And a sleuth of other things that he's done. Okay. But, um, yeah, I've been on that shit lately. So, I noticed, yeah. like, both with Sunny Day and Deftones, you're going for some music... Yeah. That has a lot of space to it. Yeah, a lot yeah. of time to breathe. A lot of time to breathe. Yeah, uh, yeah. to to get enveloped. Yeah, if you will. Yeah. So, um, when was the what was wh- okay? So Deftones, what album do you suggest? 
Uh, the self-titled Deftones, Deftones. Deftones, Deftones. Yep. Fair enough. All right. Start there. Let's, okay, so what are we at? Yeah. Are, we, are we at four right now? Okay, I so we say, got yeah, one more. I'm laughing because Josh is making faces Uh-oh. at my death count selection. He doesn't. Okay, uh, no, no, pose no, the no, same no. question to him. No, 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 no. What's no, your no, wait, what's, wait. no? What's your death count suggestion? It's Diamond Eyes. Thank you. You're out of your I fucking knew, mind I if it's not Diamond Eyes. I knew it was gonna be that one. Ooh. I knew it was gonna be Diamond Eyes for him. Fair enough. All right. What do you got for the fifth? My fifth um, selection right now, and uh, just because it's been in rotation lately, uh, pinkish black. Right. Yeah. Did you? Were you at the show? I at was Pop Rock? there. How amazing was that? That was amazing with a capital H, sir. Ugh. Let me tell you. Okay, so I love going to a show, and you never heard of a you never heard of a band, or listen to them rather, but you've heard of them. And then uh, you get to see them first and listen to them first and meet them first. Everything first. Right. And absolutely, these guys knock it out the fucking park. Hands and, down. And a two-piece. Two-piece, yes. Incredible. Yes. Did you ever hear the story about how they got the name? No. Do you tell. Uh, um, I'm kind of paraphrasing. No, uh, that's uh, but fine, but the, do you tell. The basic story was somebody yeah. had uh, committed suicide. I believe it was a band member, but I'm, don't quote me on it. And what they saw on the wall... Oh, fuck. ...was the color of... They got a... Uh, pinkish black. That reminds me of, like, Mayhem, Death, when he killed himself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, way back then. And so, uh, if you look on the walls, probably like a pinkish shit's black. going on there, yeah. And I apologize. If I'm wrong, I heard that as, like... That is fucking gnar. I like that, that story, was, though. That's the story I know. No matter so, what I'm told, I'm always going to listen to that one, though. If it's if it's wrong, uh, and and I'm gonna well, make it, I'm gonna make it right. Fair enough, uh, John. <laughs> thank you so much. Now, thank you guys. We're Appreciate talking being weird with me, <laughs> but we're talking about music. Yes. You know what? Since this is a music podcast, yes, sir. I'll give you one more. All right, just a choice select, random one that I pulled out of my ass. Pull it I'm out. Gonna, I can't wait. I'm gonna I'm have gonna to go it, to uh, one specific song. It's a Queens of the Stone Age. With Mark Lanigan at a live festival, 2002. Right. Now look that one up and put that on some good speakers. God damn it. Which which track? Um, it's songs. Uh, what's it? Song for, the, song, for the dead. song for the dead. Perfect. Song for the dead with Mark Lanigan singing with the Queens of the Stone Age. Uh, with the David Grohl on drums. Uh, Josh Homey on guitar. Yes. Uh, Nick Oliveri on bass. All uh, the original guys that are Queens of the Stone Age. It's so savage and it's so amazing. And Mark Lanigan on, on his vocals on that song. Oh man, it's, it just, it's, it's melting. It. It's melting. Yeah, it's melting. Well, okay. He is dead. Again, for this track, how do I? How am I going to listen to it? Uh, go on um, YouTube and type in Queens well, of the that, Stone Age. That much I know. I mean, it's like, where where and am then, I going to uh, be when I listen to it? When you uh, sign in. Uh, you're gonna hear it. I well, I appreciate that, sir. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> yeah, give me a oh, is setting. Oh, setting. Yeah. Well, if you really want to hear all of this, you got to go to the Doom Tune podcast. Yeah. I know. Okay, let's rephrase this question. Uh, how many drinks have we had so far? Too many. Okay. Okay. So I'm I'm about to listen to I'm about to hit play on this track. Yes. Okay. Am I? It's the only way. Am I cleaning the house? Am I sitting back in my easy chair? For this song? Yeah. This is driving music. This is driving music? This is absolutely fucking driving. All right. Is this driving like I'm going to run over somebody music? When you got 15 minutes to get somewhere, this is what you need to get there. Boom. All right. Perfect. Thank you, brother. Oh, you heard that high five, motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sorry. This is another top five. Okay. We're out. Yucca Tap Room. Oh, by the way, Praise Allah. John Quinn, Mosara, Planet Mammoth yes. 2020. Thank you. We'll see you guys in February. Yeah! Let's rock. Yeah. Doom Tomb Podcast at gmail.com. That is how to reach us. We'll talk to you sometime soon for another edition of the Top 5. Thanks, everyone, and don't forget to stay heavy.